Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Lounging with Tony. Today we are at a secret location in Los Angeles, California to talk to the founders of Flash Mob America. Are you ready to mob? Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lounging with Tony. Today we are with the founders of Flash Mob America. We have Stacey Lawrence and Conroe Brooks. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So um, tell us exactly what a flash mob is because a lot of people have are not sure like what a flash mob actually is. So what is a flash mob? Well, what it is is a, a group of people showing up in a public place doing some type of act which can be dancing, singing, acting, and then quickly dispersing. Awesome. Spontaneous performance. Yeah. yeah. What made you decide to get a group of people together consistently to dance and just have a good time? Hmm. Well, I think it came to us. I don't know that right. we made the decision. Really? Right, we didn't. Yeah, it, we did it as a... <laughs> we made one decision. <laughs> one yeah. 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 When Michael Jackson passed away, we did it yeah. as a tribute to him. We mm -hmm. saw that Sweden had done it, and we said, let's do it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we put a Facebook event together and got 100 people out, and it was a huge success. And it just kept happening. Yeah. Um, we did one for Janet Jackson, and she showed up. Awesome. And ever since that happened, we have not stopped working since. Yeah. Are there any flash mobs that you guys have done that have been your favorite or, or one that just really sticks out for you? Definitely. Yes. Uh, my favorite is the In the Heights flash mob that we did, mm -hmm. um, which we did at City Walk. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that was my favorite because it was very, um, well, it was difficult. It was a very challenging flash mob that we did. We got very, uh, we had male parts and female parts, yeah. and they, yeah. they came at different times and then came together, and then there was this huge build. Yeah. And it was for uh, Lin-Manuel, who's the creator of the show. Right. He was there and had no idea what was happening, and his reaction is like, priceless. it's priceless. It's priceless. And he was so uh, he was emotional, and it was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Plus, it was one of our biggest flash mobs, and yeah. we had yeah. over 300 people, which is like massive. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, to, to put this together, I mean, I'm sure it takes uh, a lot of people to, to put this together. How do you guys organize and, and structure such a big mass of people? Well, really, we do it through social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, tens of thousands of subscribers on our, yeah, our newsletter database. We have thousands of Facebook friends, right. Twitter followers, Foursquare, you know, where we'll check mm -hmm. in wherever we are. And, yeah. Uh, so we do all of our announcements online and people can uh, tweet us and Facebook us and find out where we're at and what the next update is. Mm -hmm. And that's how we keep everyone organized. What types of people do you see participating in the flash mobs on, on a regular basis? Really all awesome types. <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. All ages, Just... we, have a, we have a three month old and an 86 year old. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every ethnicity, every body type, mm -hmm. every social class. I know that you guys do um, not only do flash mobs for fun, but you also um, benefit different organizations and things like that. What are some charities that you've done flash mobs for up until now? We've done flash mobs for uh, Heal the Bay, the American Red Cross. Mm. We've also done uh, Gay Men's Chorus of Los Angeles. Mm. We've also done uh, corporate events that have also had a charitable donation. So we've raised money for Women for Women International, Boys and Girls Club of America, uh, Women's Funding Network. Um, most recently, oh, the GLAD, GLAD Media Awards, they're a nonprofit. Right. It seems like a lot, a There's, lot yeah. of different organizations yeah. that you definitely, yeah. that can benefit from this yeah. great yeah. experience that. And well, in today's is the Trevor Project. Yes. So they're an organization that helps LBG. Youth. <laughs> 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 Gotta make sure you put all the letters. Yeah. It's LGBTQ, right? right? Youth suicide prevention. So. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So fun. It's great. Now I know that you guys uh, a few months ago were featured on The Bachelorette and mm -hmm. did a flash mob on there. Was yes. that your first breakout onto TV with the flash mob, or no? No. Actually. Okay. Uh, the first one we did actually was for Rachel Ray. Okay. We did her Halloween episode last year. Yep. yep I think a last year. year. Ago. Um, yeah. So we did a zombie flash mob that opened um, her Halloween episode. Nice. 
Yeah, and then we did Kimura, Life in the Fab Lane. Mm -hmm. so that was, I love that show. Yeah, so it was a season <laughs> four finale where she's rebranding herself. You know, she left Baby Fat and is um, focusing now on KLS. So we were her big coming out party for KLS. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course. And then Modern Family. Oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, we did the Modern Family Flash Mob. So what do you hope uh, will happen for the future of, of Flash Mob America? Well, we're always interested in how flash mobbing is going to expand. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that uh, selling, using it as a tool to sell a product is going to is probably already old. You yeah. Know? Um, but how we can expand and actually change people's lives. Yeah. How mm -hmm. we can really make it purposeful. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're really interested in, is not only growing the business yeah. from a supporting ourselves standpoint, but really growing the community throughout the mm -hmm. country and really making it purposeful and. Yeah, and there's still some people that have no idea what a flash mob is. Yeah. Like I met somebody yesterday who had no idea what it was, had never seen it or heard of it. Right. So we'd like to reach more people. You know, there's still more people to reach. Yeah. You gotta find all those and, people. And yeah, and, yeah, and bring, them, <laughs> bring them together, get them dancing. And yeah. I think, yeah, it's just to expand even more. Is, yeah. is and, then, and also evolving it artistically, that right. it's not just mm -hmm. a spontaneous dance. What else can we flash mob? Right. Yeah. Well, um, in a few minutes, I'm going to join in on yeah. a flash mob. Yeah. And right. hopefully I will <laughs> get that same feeling and joy that's about to happen. Yeah. So you guys stick around. I'm going to jump into rehearsal and we will be back with more Lounging with Tony. Missed an episode of Lounging with Tony? Check out all of these fantastic guests from season two. Share the laughs, fun, and fierceness of these amazing episodes. Visit youtube.com slash lounging with Tony. And don't forget to rate and comment on your favorite episodes and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I'm on Twitter, so follow me at lounging with Tony. Are you lounging? so much for having me participate. I had tons of fun. I was nervous, but I had a lot of fun. Awesome. So if you guys want to find out how to join in the next Flash Mob, please visit flashmobamerica.com or find them on Twitter, on Facebook, and also look at their YouTube videos. We'll see you next time on Lounging with Tony.